friends welcome to ehiddenbrain.com today we will see the need of discrete mathematics actually right need of discrete mathematics so this is the topic which we will be covering in this video now let's see what is discrete mathematics first discrete math is a study of discrete objects actually it's a study of discrete objects as well as we we study the relationship between these objects we we sometimes study the relationship between these objects right now what these objects are what are what is discrete objects discrete objects include lot of things objects like objects includes or rather discrete objects includes a lot of things like people pain right computer etc so a lot of things can be included as a discrete objects and we will be studying the discrete mathematics for a relationship and a lot of stuffs regarding these objects right now first of all the question is why to study discrete mathematics right so that question a lot of people might face why to study discrete mathematics uh, let's take it an example i will i will show you a very funny example here rather a very simple example i will try to show you why discrete math is really helpful now let's say i want i decided to add the first n natural numbers so i i decided to add up something like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n what you will get you know the formula for this right so now i am studying i am teaching you why to have a discrete math first of all right and first summation of the first n numbers n natural numbers is what n into n plus 1 by 2 you know this right everyone knows this formula this is very generic formula or rather very uh, famous formula you can say that now why discrete math comes in the picture here let's see we want to test the validity of this formula now how you going to test the validity how i can say that this formula is always true for any n where n can be 20 where n can be 100 where n can be 1 billion whatever it can be right and n can be anything so how i can say that it is true for all the cases right and then actually a discrete math comes to the rescue here right how discrete math come to the rescue a mathematical induction is a part of discrete mathematics i can say and the induction techniques will help you to uh, say whether this formula is true or false right so that way discrete math will really help you now let's see how it is actually i will show you in a very uh, practical oriented way rather how this formula is generated actually this formula is generated by a uh, goss uh, when he was a primary student right his tutor Uh, that time asked students to calculate the sum of first hundred numbers. So, like the tutor or the teacher was very much interested in sum of first hundred number. Why? Because he should be able to sleep in that time, right? He was a little bit lazy, lazy teacher, right? And he thought like a kid, a primary kid, will definitely take around twenty thirty minutes to solve this problem, like adding one to two, two to three, like that. They will definitely take a lot of time, and in meanwhile, he will have a nap, right? And that's why he given the formula, but Uh, goss came up with the answer in very less time and he suspected the cheat now but goss was very intelligent he was a born scientist rather i can say and how he designed the formula let's see this he has something like this he decided to have a very small case of it i can call this as a specialization this was a generalization this is a general generic formula and he decided to have a very small case of it and you can see this what he did is he found out one pattern here you add first and last number you get 7 you add second and second last number you get again 7 you add third and third last number you again get 7 so now you understood what you really got you got 7 now what is n here n is 6 here but in terms of n what you got 7 you got means you got 7 it means you got n plus 1 and how many times you got n plus 1 3 times means what is 3 in terms of n or in terms of 6 it is again n by 2 actually so i can say so actually the formula is something like this you got 7 means n plus 1 how many times n by 2 times and that's the 
actual generic representation of the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 right i hope everyone agrees on this now how to test this formula really discrete mass will really help you here with the help of induction techniques we will be able to show this this formula is really helpful and this formula is true for all the values of n right and i hope that is the justification of why discrete mathematics is required a lot of things related to discrete mathematics like set set theory uh, relations functions probabilities counting a lot of things group theories and all will be covered into uh, the coming sessions so please be tuned to this uh, channel and do subscribe to our channel if you really like this video please uh, like it and if you have any queries any doubts please comment out anything i will be really getting back to you your questions right thank you very much for listening